What's going on my fellow Yu-Gi-Oh players? Guess what we got today? We got three copies of uh, Structure Deck Freezing Chains. What we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be building a Ice Barrier or an Ice Barrier, that's proper English, an Ice Barrier deck just from three Structure Decks. You know, we also got ourselves some Dragon Shield sleeves as well, Petrol. It looks way bluer on the camera than it does in person. We're only going to be using these three Structure Decks. Now, I'm, I'm being completely honest here. I don't know shit about ice barriers. I don't know who, I think it was Patrick Hoban who said once that um, he doesn't really look into new cards until they come out in the TCG. Like he doesn't look at OCG formats, you know, instead he like plays with the hand that he's given. And I think that's sort of like a really good thing to do today. All right, now let's open these bad boys. All right, so now we have three of our ice barrier structure decks. And what are we supposed to do with these? Well, we're gonna build a deck, silly. How are we going to build a deck? Good question, because I don't even know. You think I'm going to build an Ice Barrier deck? I'm going to go on YouTube.com. And oh, wait, what's this? This isn't my main account. This is my secondary account. Uh, the Robotic Unit. YouTube.com slash Robotic Unit. For all your gaming needs. For us, what we need to find... We need to find somebody who's good at the game. We need to find someone who's good at the game and to teach us how to play Ice Barriers. Hey, look at this guy. Whoa, I'm subscribed? <laughs> but I don't have the bell on, look at me. I'm a fucking rebel. Alright. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, best starter in the deck. Okay, so we're just gonna mimic what Team Sam does. How the fuck do you open this thing? Well, you control another Ice Barrier monster, you can, your opponent cannot tribute summon. Okay, that's very specific. Uh, she seems broken against Monarchs. You can use one of the following effects, uh, each of the following effects once per turn. Discard one card, special Ice Barrier tuner from your deck. Also, you can have special monster to turn except water. Okay. I can use her in a uh, Marincess, actually. Just to make my uh, Link 2. Um... If you would discard or send a card from hand to graveyard to activate an ice barrier monster to effect, you banish this card from this graveyard instead of one of those cards. Wow! Free Brio, okay. Yeah, so she brings out a tuner. Alright, Team Sam, you win this one. Let's see what's next. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got that. We got that. We got that. We got that. Triple Undyne? Whoa. Triple Undyne. Okay. Let's. Let. Shit. No, not Triff. Oh, two card combo. Okay, okay, so Undyne's a starter. I don't know if I trust playing it at three though. Because that means we have to play Genix controller. So yeah, triple Genix Undyne, I guess. Oh look, they even have Blazing Vortex cards. That's pretty awesome. Which, you know what, I'll follow Team Sam's advice on this one. Only because two card combos and openers Really important for playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It might not even be a good two card combo, but shit, you know, we might as well try it out before we judge. All right, we're sitting at a seven card deck right now. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's read what this bitch does. Well, you control their Ice Buried mon uh, Monster, Defense Monsters your opponent controls and not change their battle position. All right, that's very specific. Uh, you're gonna use the following effects once per turn. If you control Ice Buried Monster, you switch on this card from your hand. Uh, Alright, if you control Ice Barrier Monster, you can manage this card from your graveyard, especially on the Ice Barrier. Oh, okay. So not only can she extend in hand, but she can also extend in grave. She gives you both two... She She's essentially two monsters. She's two monsters in one card in the same turn. Alright. Okay, fine. Man, deck profiles just make this thing so easy, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 we got that. Okay. Who the... It's not ugly. Bro, he capping. Let's lead, let's read our little froggy boy over here. Where where is this man? This is a new card too. I didn't even know this shit existed. We control our ice barrier monster mind controls, lose five hundred attack defense. During main phase, you can send one level three or lower ice barrier monster from deck to the grave, and do this card level will become the same as that monster. I don't know. I mean, I don't really think we need two of it. Shit, I wouldn't even <laughs> I would just stick with one, honestly. I'm sorry, Team Sam. I don't. I don't see the need for two. There, there are other Ice Barrier tuners. He doesn't seem that good. He doesn't seem that good. I, I, I definitely would not want to draw into this card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, two prior. Now, this is this is weird to me. 
Because let me read Prior, because I remember I used to, like, Prior back in the day, I used to think this card was busted. I used to think this card was ridiculous. So let's read Prior. Prior to the Ice Spirit. If you control an Ice Spirit monster, you can, you, can, uh, you can special this card from your hand. You cannot special many level 5 or higher monsters to turn you summon this way. What? That's ass. All your synchros are level 5 and higher. Why would you even play this card? 11, 6, 6, 7, 9. Like, why, why would you play this card? What? Because you can tribute it, special summon the Ice Berry in your grave? I ain't playing this shit. Alright, whatever. Just just play one. Because it has the ability to extend. That's it. It, it was like, you know, it, 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 it got us in the first half, you know? But after that, card's ass. Like, okay, like, you can search it, you know? Fine. So, you don't need to play two. It's it's not a good extender. This says the turn. It doesn't say for the rest of the turn. It just says, you cannot summon level five or higher monsters. The turn, you summon it. it by its own effect. Like, what, what type of garbage is that? Right. No, it's not. All right, General Wayne. You see, this is this is why you gotta. Oh, it's crazy. He's one of the new ones, and he's only a common. All right, spells and traps on the field are sent from field and punch grave are banished instead. That's pretty nice. Each effect is only once per turn. If your opponent controls a monster, you can control an ice bear monster. Special this card from your hand. This card normal special add an ice bear spell trap from deck to your hand. He's level five. As cool as it is that he searches, he's level five. If he could summon himself in more ways, I would probably play more, but. I think one's just good for now. Unless, you know, unless he can prove us wrong with these two card combos where I need multiple copies of some of these cards, I'm I'm just sticking to ones of these three so far. And you can probably search them anyway, so no big deal. Alright, Defender, Cryomancer. Yeah, so these are so these two plus hex are your only three ice barrier tuners. So let's read each of them. And see what it's like. Okay. So Defender says that while you control Ice Barrier, monster your opponent controls cannot declare attack. Their attack is greater than or equal to this card's defense. So Defender can sort of like wall you out. Or wall your opponent out. Cryomancer, uh, while you control an Ice Barrier, monster level 4, higher monsters cannot declare an attack. Okay. So these two are sort of just funny cards. You know, um, you have, you start out with your uh, Revealer. Revealer summons out one of these two. You either go into level 6 or level three. Like, sure. I mean, I, I guess, you know what? You're, you're sort of forced to play that second hex, all right? I doubted you, Team Sam. I'm sorry. I'll play the second hex. These are supposed to be things that you use for synchro summons, although they do have sort of like floodgate -y effects in a way. Like, he stops you, like, both of these stop your opponent from attacking. Um, that's not actually going to happen. Like, like let's let's be realistic here. Like, like that's not actually going to happen. We're sitting at 16 monsters right now. I sort of want to close the monsters up because, I don't know, this deck doesn't seem like it has a lot of extenders. But we, we haven't read this guy yet, so I don't know how cool he is. Uh, no, pun, no, no pun intended. I don't know how cool he is, but, you know, we'll just have to see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, only two Silent Angler? I would... I mean, I guess because there's no Exceed monsters in this deck, I'd probably triple down on this thing. It's a really good extender. I guess the limitation of not being able to summon cards from the hand is a deal breaker for Sam, but for me, I think just having that extender in your hand in general is good enough. And since we are sort of slacking on that second prior because, you know, Sam was running two priors just to get those extenders, I think Silent Anglers wouldn't be the worst idea. But I don't know how many Ice Barrier spells and traps you know, require us to have ice barriers in hand rather than searching them from deck. So I don't know how good or bad Silent Angler will be in this deck. But, it, you know, in theory, I think you should be playing three. I think you should be playing three, and you should grab yourself some, some like, Bahamut Sharks and, like, Exceed Monsters, you know, to, like, play with this deck. You know, like a Silent 101 arc. A lot of, There are a lot of cheap rank four Exceed Monsters out there. You know that you can use in this deck. Also, um, if you go Revealer, Revealer plus Silent Angler, you know, Revealer, discard one, special them out the Ice Barrier Tuner, and then special them out Angler, you literally have any Trish right there because if you go into the level one, you have level nine Trish, or if you go into the level three, you have level 11 Trish. So Silent Angler, I think it's a real good opener. It can be a really good opener with. Uh, with the rest of the cards. Now, I don't know how Genix Undyne 
is a strong opener because Sam hasn't really explained that combo yet, but we'll see. But I, I think in general, I think uh, having triple uh, silent angler is sort of the way to go. Okay, so I just want to note, he is, I did not see any copies of this card. Sam decided that none of these other ice barriers were worth playing. And so at this point, I would say read all of these cards and see if any of them are actually, I know, I know Blizzard's bad. See if any of them are actually worth playing. Like she used to be worth money. Well, she, she does. Once per turn, you control an ice barrier, you can reveal any number of ice barrier monsters in your hand, target, set spells and traps and turn them to the hand. I guess if you're playing, I mean, she's she's a good side deck if your opponent's playing like a back row heavy deck. But the, the problem is that the cards have to be set. So, yeah, not too good. Well, I control another Ice Bear Monster, both players must... Okay, so she's literally a walking anti-spell fragrance, which I don't know why you would want that. You know, like half your deck is spells. Spellbreaker, once returning to an Ice Bear, your hand to grave, need to play active spells. It's only spells, right? Uh, like, this seems like another good side... Like, this seems like this deck just has side deck cards. Like, all of its main deck monsters are just side deck cards. Situational uh, cards that, you know... If you're playing against Sky Striker, I would triple down on this. If, you, if Sky Striker was the meta, this would be the anti-meta right here. Um, strategist, send an Ice Bear from hand to grave, draw one card. I might... I might even... I might fuck around with this one. I might. I don't know, because drawing cards seems pretty cool. You know, imagine we draw into Silent Angler. Normal flip summon, change the defense mission, Ice Bear Monster, you control an Ice by spell. Eh, nothing special. When opponent's monster effect activate on the field, they must discard a card or the effect is negated. Now, this seems like a good card, but how are you going to summon it is the question. So, we'll, we'll leave it to the side there. If your, if your opponent controls four more cards than you do, you can special this card from your hand. Your opponent can activate one spell or chop card per turn. Uh, so many conditions sort of lame. Uh, General Jantala, once per turn during the end phase, target Ice Bear, monster in your graveyard, and you can special summon it? But, 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 but it's during the end phase. I mean, like, why would you want to do that during the end phase? Like, shouldn't you want to do that during your turn? Like, that's wild. And then General Grenard, you can normal summon the Ice Bear in addition to your normal summon set, right? Uh, I mean, if you can get them on the field, you know, I, I guess, you know, we, we just have to find ways to summon these guys, you know, it's, it's not even particularly that they're bad, it's just that they just need proper summoning conditions. All right, Zujin of, or Zuijin of the Ice Barrier, all right, this is the one that Sam glossed over. You can tribute this card, special one level five or higher Ice Barrier monster from your hand. If this card's in your graveyard, except the turn of Sentai Guitar at one... Level three or higher water monster you control reduces level exactly by two and you special this card but banish it when least okay. This card isn't that great. If it summoned it from deck, I think we'd be looking at a completely different archetype here. If this summoned a level five or higher from deck, I think General Raiho would be absolutely broken. He would be a must play, I would say, if he could summon ice barriers from the deck. He's also not a tuner. And he isn't that great. I would say you can play one of him if you want. Um, these are the only two other ice barriers that I would play. Maybe, maybe strategists as well. But these are the only, only other ice barriers that I would play if you want to sort of like go off the, um, go off on and do and do your own thing. All right. So next, uh, let's get our best. One of the best. Uh, spells in the game we're, we're sitting at 19 monsters and three spells so far according to team sam now i don't i've read through all the monsters and i still don't understand the point of the genix undyne because he sends a water monster what water monster are you going to send that's going to get you plus and grave because uh speaker for the ice barrier needs you to control an ice barrier monster so how are you going to normal summon undyne and get something off a of speaker in grave when she needs an ice barrier in grave. I mean on field to activate her effect. And this is an ice barrier monster. And how are you supposed to summon a controller? And what what is what does that do for you? That doesn't do anything for you, I don't think. I don't think it does anything for you, if I'm being completely honest. Do any of these other water monsters have grave? So there are quite a number of, of other water monsters in this deck. So we got Aqua Spirit, Duke Frog, Rodin Toten. I mean, you have to banish a frog from the grave, so it probably won't be as good. Um, 
Fishborg Launcher, actually. I think Fishborg Launcher can actually be a good uh, thing to mill off of uh, Genix Undyne. So if you have a monster in your graveyard and all of them are water, especially on this card from your graveyard. But ben yeah, you see, if you're playing with only three structure decks, I think Fishborg Launcher is the way to go. Um, because if you if you start out with Undyne and, uh, I don't know, and a, and a Launcher, you can normalize some Undyne, send Launcher, search Genix Controller, Special Isle Angler, Special Back Launcher. You don't have any level 8 synchros, do you? I don't know. We All will be revealed at the end of Team Sam's video, so we'll, we, we will see. Triple Medallion to start the spells off. Add any Ice Barrier from your deck to your hand. Any Ice Barrier monster. Three of this spell card right here. Now, I haven't read this spell card. Again, I'm learning with you guys what all this shit does. Or maybe you know before me, and you're just watching because I'm entertaining somehow. All right, should be any number of Ice Barrier monsters, especially someone from your deck that same level, it's the same number of level four lower ice barrier monsters with different names from each other. During your main phase, you turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Um, and target one of your ice barrier monsters as banished on your graveyard, add it to your hand. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this card doesn't, like, I read this, this doesn't look good to me. If this could summon to level five or hires, this would be lit. It cannot summon level five or hires. So, I don't know. Like, is it really worth playing three of them? Like, okay, yeah, like you're playing against Sky Striker. And you want to get your your Spellbreaker off. So you tribute, so you activate your wins over the Ice Barrier to special summon out. You know, whatever, whatever. But I think this can be a good card. Um, simply so that you can search so that any um, any Ice Barrier becomes Revealer. So because of wins over the Ice Barrier, any Ice Barrier monster can turn into your Revealer of the Ice Barrier. Which I think that's really the only good thing about this card. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother... Oh, shit. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother playing this. I guess that wins over the Ice Barrier can be a good opener, but you have to use your normal summon. 19 monsters, 6 spells. I'm, I'm still doubting these fucking Genix Undines. I don't know what the point of them is. And the longer that we wait, the longer that I'm just like... Okay, I, I need to see what what actually is going to happen here. Yeah, okay. Now, Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. He says three of them. So when this card is activated, target one level four lower Ice Barrier monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Okay, so that's immediately pretty good. Um, well, you control three or more Ice Barriers. Ice Barriers that you control are unaffected by activated effects of your opponent's monster, special summon from the extra deck. Okay. That's actually pretty solid. Probably the most solid. Like, this should have had a hollow printing in the freaking structure deck. Like, no cap, this is the most solid Ice Barrier card that I've seen so far. Now, if you're playing Genix Undyne just to get one engraved, just to activate this, I mean, okay. I guess, like, yeah, it can be good because he can mill any um ice barrier monster with undyne and then you can bring back bring it back with freezing chains so you can mill your revealer or yeah you can reveal your revealer with undyne and then bring it back with freezing chains okay this it's it's not the worst strategy it's it's not the worst opener strategy that's that's why he's playing undyne okay that card right there and this card is searchable i believe off of your general wayne all right so next he's playing double salvage and double surface so revealer has 1700 attack so you can't bring her back with salvage although speaker has a thousand attack but you're not going to bring her back with salvage because she has her she's going to banish herself from grave i can see the double surface like surface i understand let's say maybe triple down on the surfaces and leave salvage at one. I mean, shit, you can you can just copy the ratio, honestly. This deck doesn't come with Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn's a common card. If you get Monster Reborn, take out a surface. We'll copy that one part of Sam's build only because there's nothing else really going for the structure deck. They should have put um, one of the Genix Synchros in here. Honestly, if you're gonna put Giants Controller, they should have put one of the Genic Synchros. So now we are sitting at 13 spell cards with our latest four being the two Salvage and the two Surface. Terror of Trishula. He's only playing one, okay. 
I guess none of the other spell cards are worth playing to him. So let's review all the other spell cards in the structure deck just to see what else you are missing. And so in this structure deck, all that's left are these three. So Magic Triangle of the Ice Barrier, to reveal three Ice Barriers, different names in your hand, target one card your opponent controls to start at targeting you, special summon that Ice Barrier in your hand. This is not a good card. Um, it's real gimmicky, and you'll probably only use it once. If you want to play one just to fuck around and play some of these higher level um, Ice Barriers like General Raiho, if you want to go, I, I feel like Ice Barriers can have a really fun high level version because you know your searchers search or your searcher spell searches all the high level ones. I feel like if you have space for General Raiho, I would say try him out. If not, I would say, oh man, I don't think Magic Triangle's good. Now if it said reveal three Ice Barrier cards, I feel like this would, this would be a different story, but Ice Barrier monsters. Uh, Mirror of the Ice Barrier, uh, during this turn each time a card is banished from your hand, field, and or graveyard by your opponent's actual monster effect. By your opponent's effect? I mean, you're playing Trishula. I thought it would be by your effect. So if your opponent banishes a card you control, you can banish two cards they control. Or if they call it by the graveyard, you can banish two cards from their graveyard. It's it's not a good card to play, like, in general. If you knew the matchup, if you knew the matchup, I would say go for it. And, it, and it's only for monster effects, too. It's not, like, for any type of effect. It's only for monster effects. And where Arfdow... Um, how many level 1s do you play? You really only play this guy, Hexa, and that's it. Wait, why are you, why are you giving me Where Arf Dow? Okay, wait, I forgot about these other level 1s. Fishborg Launcher. Heck, like, Hexa and Fishborg Launcher, and they give you Where Arf Dow. Sam plays only one copy of the Terror of Trishula, right? So, apply these effects in sequence depending on the number of Ice Bear Synchro Monsters you control with different names. One, banish one card your opponent controls. Okay. This is a normal trap card, so it would be a little better if it was continuous, but you know what? Uh, two or more. Uh, banish one card from opponent's graveyard. I like that it ban that it, that prioritizes banishing your opponent uh, a face, or not even face up, just a card your opponent controls. And number three, banish one random card from your opponent's hand. Alright, not terrible. Uh, when your opponent activates a card effect that targets your Synchro Monster, banish a card from your graveyard and negate that effect. I do like the one and the three effects. So either you use it when you have one or use it when you are when you have three Ice Barrier Synchros. Realistically, you probably won't even have, like, I think you'll only have one. I think if you start out with um, Revealer and a Silent Angler plus another uh, card in hand. Because Revealer can, can discard any card, right? So Revealer, discard, whatever, special them out, Defender. Or Hexa or whatever, right? Make him level three. Synchro into the level eleven Trish. If you're going second, synchro into level nine Trish. If you're going first, and then set Terror of Trishula so that you can uh, banish something your opponent controls during their turn. What's next? So he's playing a triple Crackdown. Smart move. Crackdown's a pretty good card. And if you steal a monster with a level, I can, I can, I can vibe with the triple Crackdown. Like, play, play at least one, because it can negate your opponent's monster effects. Unlike Crackdown, where it only stops them from activating the effect. So if you're trying to stop them from doing something, um, Crackdown isn't always the best solution, because their effect will still resolve if you Crackdown them. But if you Fiendish Chain them, the effect stops right there, you know, after Fiendish Chain resolves. So he is playing the triple Fiendish Chain as well. I actually did skim over that part of the video. But even with that, even with the Triple Phoenix Chain, this is only a 39 card deck. Now maybe there's a card that he was playing that we aren't playing. So Triple Phoenix Chain, Triple Crackdown, and one Terror of Trishula. I, I really wish we could play more of these, but it's just too situational. Double Surface, Double Salvage, Triple uh, Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier because it is sort of like the best card. Uh, wins over as an opener and triple medallion as our starters as well um, leaving us with 13 spells yeah because that's nine and then plus four that's 13 and then seven traps so that's 20 plus 19 monsters so we just need to put I would say just put one more monster in or 
I would say if you're going to put another monster in, I would say put in either the Strategist or the General Raiho. Um, if you want, you can also play the Fishborg Launcher, but I don't think it'll come up too much in your deck. Uh, Moon Glacia, if you can't summon Moon Glacia first turn, like as a combo card first turn, I would say don't play Moon Glacia unless you can summon it first turn. I would say some Heavy Storm Dusters couldn't hurt. If, if, if you're going to go first, um, I would say Heavy Storm Duster is a good card since you're running quite a number of trap cards anyway. Um, I know some people don't like it, but it's a really good going first card. So... This deck also comes with some a pointer of the Red Lotuses. And it's a really awkward card because it looks at your opponent's hand and then you banish one card in your opponent's hand until their next end phase. So if you see them search something that looks crucial to their combo pieces, this might be a good card to play. Like, this is a really good side deck card. And although there's not space for it in the main deck, it can be a really fun card just to use on your opponent. Um, Aqua Spirit, just for extending. I would say Aqua, Aqua Spirit would be like the safest card to put as as our 40th card. Because I don't think Zuijin is worth playing unless we're playing like a certain type of build of Ice Barrier. So, let's see here. What is it that we want to put in as our 40th card? We'll see what Team Sam's combos are, and then we will readjust based on that. So now he's going into the extra deck. I mean, like... You you really don't need to like, it's it's literally just three of every synchro. All right, so now he's going through what you can side deck, mind drain, yep, and the pointer of the red lotus, yep. All right, all right. So now we're looking at combos. So revealer. Man. I Oh, that's why you play prior because he's a level two. Wait, so if he's a level two, hold up. If you only play play prior because he's a level two, you might as well put in Zuijin because Zuijin next turn after he's sent to the grave, he can you know lower a monster's level by two, and he can special him himself from grave, and then he can tribute himself, special him level five or higher, um, Ice Barrier monster. So Zuijin can actually make up for Pryor's lack of sauce in this scenario. Because I didn't realize that Hex could mill any Ice Berry monster. I thought it was only um, Ice Berry tuners, but it's any level 3 or lower so that he can gain the level. Oh no, he doesn't gain the level. He becomes the level of the monster that he mills. So there's no point of sending a level one. I don't think he can send a level one uh, ruling wise. But he wouldn't be able to send a level one. You would just send a level two or a level three to the grave and then you'd, you'd be popping. So I think Zuijin might actually be worth playing at one. Um, and even a copy of General Raiho. I, I think we did just find our combo. I think General Raiho is legitimately the second best um, Ice Barrier. Now, you can play General Wayne if you want. You can play more copies of him. And with the Zuijin, you can, um, you know, sort of do whatever you want. I don't think that Prior is worth playing. Now, the only reason why I would play Prior is because he can summon himself from... He can summon any Ice Barrier monster from Grave, including the Synchros. But the thing is, is that the synchros only get their effect when they are synchro summoned, you know? So it's not always going to be the most optimal thing to bring back a synchro from grave just so you can, you know, do, you know, just so you can have a 3300 body. So maybe, you know, you can play prior if you want. I would say keep him at one, but I would say also put in a copy of Zuijin if you're going to mill off of... Um, if you're going to mill off of a uh, Hex, you can 
play a copy of Zoe Jin. I would say, right? Like, not saying that you have to. I would say you can play a copy of Zoe Jin and sort of, like, thrive off of, like, General Wayne and maybe even play a copy of General Raiho. Find space for maybe these two. Fuck it. Let's just go to 41. Let's just go to 41. We'll take a risk. We will have ourselves a 41 card. We can just take out uh, one of these salvages. I don't I don't think we need double salvage, if I'm being completely honest. So I'm going to take one out. And we're going to have ourselves a 40 card Ice Barrier deck. Now the problem with this deck... Is that both... Trishula and Duloran are limited on the Yu-Gi-Oh! official Forbidden and Limited ban list. So, you can't play this deck at full power. So, the, the reason why this Trishula is so good, right, like, uh, is because when it's Synchro Summon, banish up to three cards your opponent controls, and then when it's destroyed by an, by an, by an opponent's card, you can summon out the regular Trishula from your graveyard or extra deck, its attack becomes 3300, then you have the attack of all your opponent's face on monster your opponent controls, and then negate your opponent's monster effects after that. So this Trishula Zero, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, floats into this this other Trishula, and then also leaves your opponent stunned on top of floating, you know? So only being able to run one Trishula... Wait, this thing's a super rare? They put a super rare in the... Oh, man. All right, so... Oh, uh, man. All right, um... And Duloran, um, I don't know why this thing's limited. Oh yeah, because it can it can recycle a whole bunch of water monsters. I think it's mostly because of Mermails being able to make this card, um, or maybe there was some other combo beforehand that made this card broken. But essentially, you know, you can recycle a whole bunch of shit. And it's not only him; he can he can recycle any face up card you control. I think that's why he's so good because you're going to be playing these Phoenix Chains, these Crackdowns. You summon out Duloran. And you can pretty much um, return any continuous spell or trap to your hand, meaning you can return Phoenix Chain, you can return Crackdown, you can return Freezing Chains to use it again next turn. And I do think that is pretty good. So, you know, Deloren is sort of one of the Synchro Monsters that you do want to be going into if you have the option. And it's cool because Delorn is requires a water non-tuner, so you can use Genix Controller if you happen to have Genix Controller in your hand still, and you have a normal summon yet. You know you can use Genix Controller to go into it. So yeah. Oh yeah, also Brio, um, you know uh, re re Revealer's effect in graveyard. Um, if you were to banish, um, if you were to, to discard for a Brio, you can use Revealer as one of those discarded cards. To just pretty much get you um, a way to get rid of your opponent's cards for free. Pretty much. And yeah, so you pretty much triple down on every um, synchro that isn't these two. Because both of these are limited at the same time. <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, and Gungnir um, also can just discard to pop cards. But he can only discard up to two cards. Uh, Bri Brio discards to send cards back to your opponent's hand, but he can send as many as, as you want. So, yeah. And let me just go over the combos real quick. Uh, sort of as a, like, a... Let me just have, like, a two test hands. Let me just do two different test hands and see where we go with this shit. All right, let's do test hand number one. All right, so we did get Revealer and Undyne and Genesis Controller in our opening hand. So this would normally be a pretty bad hand, um, simply because you don't want to draw Genesis Controller at all. I didn't. I sort of forgot Genesis Controller was like a Garnet. So this Undyne combo might actually bite you in the ass if you if you play it like this, because Genesis Controller, if you draw it, you know, and it's good that we're testing this shit because if you draw it, then you know that's it. You're you're just not gonna do anything else anymore for the rest of the turn. Um, we drew this piece of ass. Um, would have been a lot cooler if this was Speaker of the Ice Barrier. And we we're not we're, we don't even want to, to to summon it this turn with its own effect because Revealer has us you know has us um getting our good cards first turn you know we're gonna get our our sub our zero dragon of the ice barrier first turn but I think first turn 
your priority should be to summon out the regular Trishula if you're going first, because you could banish a card from your opponent's hand. And then the turn after that, you can go with, um, you can go into the, uh, this Trishula right here, although he requires two not tuners, so I don't know how you're going to make that, uh, with only regular Trishula, but essentially because we have wins over the Ice Barrier in our hand, we can go into regular Trishula first turn, banish one from their hand, and then next turn, we can, uh, normal summon out prior or something, trigger it for wins over the Ice Barrier, and then... You can, um, oh yeah, we, we don't need salvage, like, at all. When, when over the Ice Barrier's effect, you can banish it from your grave to add back a, a an Ice Barrier that's banished or in your graveyard. So yeah, we don't even need to play salvage. Because Wins Over the Ice Barrier pretty much does the same thing, but better. Right, so, Normal Sun Revealer, we're going to mill our Undyne, because we won't need it anymore, because it's literally a dead draw. And we are going to Special Summon out. We're going to special out our speaker of the ice barrier. Now, I sort of forgot, like, the, the whole two-card combo requires you with, um, with speaker requires you to have silent angler or speaker in your hand. Oh, wait, she summons out an ice barrier tuner. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Wait a minute, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. I think Undyne, like, drawing controller actually bricked this hand. Because if I were to go to Hexa, Hexa cannot mill Speaker of the Esper, Speaker for the Esper, because it's not level 3 or lower. So there's no way for Hexa to actually get its effect off this turn. Uh, we can't search our Silent Angler, and we can't special mount Zuijin, but although we can mill Zuijin off with Hexa, but and then go into Delorn, but that wouldn't really do much for us. All right, so let's imagine that we... This is why this is why I didn't want to play Prior. This is exactly why I didn't want to play him. Um, and also why I was hesitant of running Genix Controller. Because if I were... Man, okay, this is, this is bad. This is a real bad situation that we're in. This is a real bad situation. Real bad hand. I would say. Because unfortunately, Speaker isn't a tuner by yourself. So how are you supposed to get her to the graveyard, is the question. Because you can't summon her off of uh, Revealer, and you can't get her to your hand off any, any of the... The tuners don't really do anything. Alright, so let's mill our Zuijin to make our... Hexa level 6, I mean level 2. And there's no way to like synchro during your opponent's turn either. Which is just, oh, which just sucks. I really wish we drew the Silent Angler. This is why I put Silent Angler at 3. I don't think you, you should put you should put it at 2. If anything, if anything, this is a this is a, a point to play Aqua Spirit as well. Although, Aqua Spirit over Prior, I don't know. Should I put Aqua Spirit over Prior? Let's, let's draw another hand and see how we feel. All right, so here's the final deck profile for the end. Uh, three Revealer, three Speaker, three Silent Angler, two of your other um, Ice Barrier Tuners, simply because they can be Floodgates, um, and two of your Hex because or Hexa, because this is the one that you're going to go into with Revealer. Uh, triple Undyne, because mixed with a Freezing Chains, or I wouldn't even say mixed with Surface, but mixed with Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier, this is your best opener. One Genesis Controller, your Garnet. Uh, terrible card. Uh, mid card, mid card, and mid card. Now, he can special up himself if your opponent controls a monster, so if you're going to make a going second build, you can definitely play two of him. I would say you might even want to max him out to three, because uh, this deck needs all the freezing chains that it can get. Um, that's really the only reason I'll play more of him, because if, if you were going... I, I'd say base your deck around going second. You don't have that many trap cards, and I feel like you can sort of play around one or two negates with stuff like Aqua Spirit and Silent Angler, and you know you can make stuff like Bahamut Shark and you know all, all this and that. Which, you know, this is sort of like looking a little past um, what's in the structure deck, but triple medallion, triple wins over the ice barrier, triple freezing chains, and double surface. We took out the salvages because um, wins over the ice barrier can just banish itself to return the ice barrier from grave or banish zone to hand. So there's no need for salvage. Even though salvage is a plus one, um, it's not worth playing, um, I would say. It's not worth breaking your hand over it, right? Traps, triple crackdown, uh, triple Phoenix chains... 
uh, one Terror of Trishula, and one Heavy Storm Duster, just because I have nothing else to play. As I said, you can play uh, one of these two up here if you want. Uh, extra deck, single copies of Trishula and Deloren, and triple copies of the other three um, Ice Barrier Synchros, you know, because might as well max out on all of them. So this isn't really like a full in-depth um, Ice Barrier deck, but I sort of just want to have a little fun with a video, like creating Ice Barriers from scratch and with the restructure decks, and I don't think this deck is amazing. It's not like Dinos. It's not like End of Mayan. I don't think there are any cool, crazy combos that you have in here. I just think if you can make this Trishula um, turn two, I think you'll, you'll prob you're probably going to win the game. If you, if you can resolve this Trishula turn two, you're probably going to win the game. If you can't resolve this Trishula turn two, you're probably... Because if you have to go first, then you have to make this Trishula right here. Um, and because it's limited, it's going to be a little awkward. You're going to have to use your uh, Winds Over the Ice Barrier. Or whatever the hell it's called, right? You're gonna have to use, uh, yeah, you have to use Winds Over the Ice Barrier to return it back to your extra deck once it's done with, because you want to get Trishula's second effect off as many times as possible. Um, also, uh, I really wish he was off a of special summon and not just off Synchro Summon, but you know, I guess that would be a little too good. So yeah, this is your boy Cernia Show, Commander of the Robotic Unit here. Hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> this is tiring. Peace out.